Okay. Well, now what? Okay, so where do they freaking want me to go? Some invisible door over here? Bro, this whole time. I'm so dumb. Bum ba dum bum. Bum ba dum. Bum ba dum bum. Why is my hair? Do you see how wackadoo my hair was? Hey, buddy! Driving's hard! Not a bad view, huh, buddy? Wonder if Grease and Boat fixed the mantis by now. Woo! Dusted. Gets me all emotional thinking. I need to focus. Hey, it's you. You're new here, yeah? That's right. Oh, I thought Got you were the... a place you should check out then. There's this guy, a real fishing enthusiast, putting around in a skiff at the base of the mountain. He's near an Imperial camp. Mind seeing if he's all right? Yeah, no problem. If I get around Much to it. Much appreciated. Come on, it's right there. I think we just found our ticket out of here. You. Easy. We won't hurt you. Cal, I love you. You're one of my favorite Jedi's now. I'm Easy, Neko. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Maybe we should take up prospecting, huh, BD? Bet we can clear that gate with a little boost from our new friend. <laughs> Can't get through. Hey, oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, and then I open it. Orange beak. I feel bad. I don't know. This definitely gives me a sand crawler. You know what that means. Jawas can't be far off. Jawas are everywhere, man. Bro. Where you go? You cute with your red legs. Here we go. 
Let's stop here. There they are. All right, you suckers. What? I can't go in there? Those buildings are ancient. Older than anything else we've seen on Kobo. Ancient architecture, building on the outskirts of the basalt forest, partly built directly into the mountainside. Their construction, a mixture of stone and mud, ages them as older than any other structure on the planet, dating even the Republic settlements. Little is known about the It's their hidey holes. No bigs allowed. <laughs> Look at all these gongs. Bro, seriously, the arm strength. I was thinking way more complex. Almost had it. Come to me. There it's it like is. Mantis is back in action. Come on, BD. Let's meet him at the landing pad. Poor random Nikos riding them. Wow, there she goes. He huge. Let's go, BD. The new fella. Howdy. Howdy back at you. If you're looking for a side, you might want to trek to the higher edges of the canyon. Side. Is it worth the hike? I wouldn't know. Never been there myself. I'm too steep to climb. And there's a lot of creatures up there. Some of them won't even eat you. Sounds like paradise. It's a tough climb, but you'll find a way up. <laughs> I don't and know personal the true space majesty very well. of Kobo. Just know it. <laughs> You got a new security system? They're in upstairs now? Holy crap! The upgrades! You scrap anything useful out here? Tons. As soon as something breaks or the raiders show face, folks abandon their projects. So, Kobo's the DJ a gold bar's for scrappers clear. like us. <laughs> Got that right. That your ship outside? Yeah. What's it to you? Kinda girl be pleasantly surprised when someone brings some class to this rock. Was that a compliment? Was it? Oh! We're having some growth. Hey, you made it. Oh, hey, it's you. I saw you tearing through the woods. Remember me? Name's Toa. I'm a historian. Freelance, these days. Cal, How do you also make money? freelance. You planning on doing more exploring? Of course. 
This is my first time beyond the Mid Rim, but I can already tell this place is a trove. Centuries ago, folks couldn't wait to scratch out a living under a new sky. And hell, they sure chose a vibrant world. Vibrant, huh? Hey, let me know if you find any more of those chambers, yeah? Every character is romanceful, even Turgle. thing. I was enjoying a lively constitutional earlier today. Really? You? Ah. That. Anyway, I saw the strangest duo putting around the far side of the valley. One was tall and quiet, one short and babbling. They had stopped to inspect some beastly carcass. This had you written all over it. I deserve that. Hey, Monk. You look tired. Take a load off. Oh, is he restricted to this conveyor belt? Word is there's a traveling troubadour and a DJ droid from the core worlds on Kobo. Awesome! Not what I expected you to say. Any idea why they're there? They've hiked out onto the valley plateau to sample the sounds of the wild. And the sounds of the wild can come from creatures that kill you. Can't drop those beats if you're dead. I'll see if I can find them. I suspected as much. Ooh. Ew. Not as tasty looking as I thought. Hello, is this where all the romance happens? Woo, that's pretty. Gosh, I would love to visit this place. I love this upstairs. This place is so cute. I can collect fish? Oh my gosh. What in the world? What am I doing? Don't you dare bring up my Mass Effect fish. Oh, you like watching the fish? Don't eat them. Cal, I gotta confess something. Here we go. That tech I tried to sell to Ravis, there's more of it in the valley. A building right in the center. You can't miss it. So I was thinking, you head there and check things out, and we split whatever you find 50-50. We'll see, Turtle. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to decorate. And even more high up, is this his office? Bro. Whoa! A garden? Not I bad, huh, buddy? Conditions are perfect for a garden. Bro. Seeds. Let's plant these next time we're in the garden. This game has so much cool things. All right. Let's try planting these seeds we found. <laughs> grow, my babies, grow. Garden can use some of the new seeds I found. Oh, Z. Z, you're looking good as new. Indeed, that mechanical mixologist is a miracle worker. <laughs> I is a miracle worker. Did you locate the key to Tannalor? Uh, it's complicated, but we'll find it. Monk told me what transpired while I was asleep. To think the Jedi Order is no more, that must have been dreadful for you. We have both been through so much. But we must persevere, Cal. After all, what else is there to do? That's right. You've got room for one more? I shall remain here, but if you need my counsel, I will be at the saloon. 
I do want to talk to you about I am very some of that. fortunate to have met you, Count Kestis. I don't want to leave yet. I found something out there. Oh yeah, what do you got? Another holocron? A Jedi. From the time of the High Republic, somehow preserved him back to Dagon Gera. I freed him. And what happened? He attacked me. Escaped with the Bedlam Raiders. He's who they've been looking for. Says the Jedi betrayed him. And turned to the dark side. Are you okay, kid? Tanalor. It's real grease. It's hidden somewhere in the Abyss. Oh, that's impossible! The Abyss eats any ship that gets too close! The Republic found a way through hundreds of years ago. That's why they built that array in the forest. A hidden world that nobody's been able to reach for centuries. Probably driving through if that path. If you figured path. out across the abyss, you could just disappear. Completely. No Bedlam Raiders. No bounty hunters. No Galactic Empire. I'm just spitballing here, but that does sound like a place that someone could call home. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a home. Get your feet down. Uh, all right, I'm going back to the cantina. You know, Grease, we could use a real pilot. I don't know. I mean, you're doing okay on your own. I mean, you could clean the Patoli weave every now and again. We day. don't know the Mantis like you do. Nobody does. Oh, Cal, I'm, I'm sorry. My best days are behind me. I, I can't even hold my card steady. I know things are different from how they used to be, but... I'm not sure I could do this without you. Is that really how you feel? It is. Well, I mean, I guess I could have Monk keep his eye on the saloon. Don't you Greasy dare kill him. <laughs> you in? I mean, there's not going to be much in the way of credits. Cal, this is better than any score. Imagine, no more looking over your shoulder. A safe place for us, for the ones we love. If anyone knows about a lost Jedi world, it's here. Jedi! So we're gonna go get the game back together. That's the last time you paid that lady a visit. Jedi? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make us some food before we go. Priorities. Oh. So it's only seeds from. Hobo, or is there a burn in your pocket? Oh. So this is Jetta. So who's this seer we're going to see? A mentor of mine. Rescued me from the Empire on Bracca and dragged me halfway across the galaxy. Sounds like you two went through a lot together. We did. Been a long time since I've seen her. I do like this game a lot. I'm not half the cook you are, Grease. And maybe only three quarters the pilot. Very kind, but the first chance we get, I'm making you a plate of Great Granny Pyloon's Umber Hatch. Aww. My favorite. Can't wait. So, we headed to Jetta or what? yellow for a bit. There's Grease's little chair. Oh, hey, guys. Cal, look at this saloon. Monk's been really busy. And I helped by staying out of the way. Did you know there's even a garden on the roof? Yeah, I've seen it. You know what I like about plants? When you talk to them, they can't just walk away. I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. How long have the Raiders been here? A few years. Not long after I arrived. I don't know a planet in the Outer Rim free of Raiders in general, but these Bedlam bastards have changed Kobo forever. Most hunters know you cull when you need to, and you stop hunting when a herd gets too low. These Raiders kill for sport, and made a lot of those beasts much more hostile to us. Take Shiverpedes, for example. When they lose habitat, they get territorial and fight back. Same as us, really. Sure enough. 
Biggest mistake our kind ever made was thinking we are any different. You sure know it. Lighter BD. Oh, hey! Greetings, Sojourner. Just Cal will do. It will not. Okay. You. Ah. you don't look like the other prospectors. No, no, no. They unearth riches. Tulak excavates that which cannot be so easily grasped. Make a lot of credits in that line of work? Wisdom is a good that never decays and is always in short supply. All right. I must be alone now. Cal, you've seen that waterfall near the forest, right? Is that the spot the raiders like to camp out at? I'm afraid so. Those abominable bullies. Why, this gem of a planet ought to be enjoyed by one and all. So our expedition is a no-go? Not unless you want to dodge some blaster fire. Uh, no thanks. Is there anywhere on this planet where one can relax safely with friends? Eh, there's a few raider free pockets left. But Kobo ain't what it used to be. Let's clear him out. I'll leave you to your new friends. Catch you later, Cal. Cal, I heard about a meditation chamber. You gonna check it out? Oh, I wish. It takes some serious acrobatics to access it, and... <laughs> I could give it a shot, Toa. A shot? This coming from the guy who scales basalt pillars in the time it takes me to date my field journal. Mm. Happy hunting, you two. Seeing these High Republic ruins with my own eyes. How do you go back to the Academy after that? Not something I expected to hear from a historian. I didn't expect it either. Originally, I couldn't wait to wall myself into a library. Why visit one dig site when you could read about 30, right? So what made you decide to leave? It is hard to describe, but the more I learned, the more I wanted to get my hands dirty and live it. Not just read about it on a calf-stained terminal, you know? Cal, how good to see you. You too, Z. Should you find any data discs from my day, I'd be happy to decrypt them for you. I imagine there are many that remain lost on Kobo. Let's see if my plants have grown in the last 30 minutes. Well, there is some this growth. This is encouraging. I bet we can plant even more. All right. Let's take off the Jedi. To Jedi. Pound for Jedi. Must feel good to get back in the cockpit after so long. Fine. <laughs> Just getting used to things. Never been to Jeddah. We headed to the city? Nah, last I heard, Seer was holed up in the desert with some weird hermits called Anchorites. <laughs> I just wish he'd pick a more lively cult. We're getting a signal from Jeddah. That's Seer. I sent word ahead that we'd be visiting. Let me put it up on the holo projector. Hey, Cal, check the holo projector. We got a call from Jeddah. Isn't this the holo projector? Cal Kestis, it is an honor. Oh, cool! Yeah. Hi. You see her there? We eagerly await your arrival. However, a dust storm is sweeping over our location. It is too dangerous for your ship to land. How will I get to you? Master Junda has arranged for an escort who will guide you to us. Wait, she's sending someone else? I will transmit the rendezvous coordinates to your pilot. Okay, I got it. Disembark with caution. Imperial patrols have been seen in the high desert. What has she got warning. herself into? Well, 
think you made the creeps. I wonder what kind of weirdo she's gonna send to meet you. And the Empire's there too. She is the weirdo. Not the welcome I was hoping for. Narcus and Karaites. The Narcus, Narki, Narkis, Narcus, Narkis and Karaites are a cult of forest devotees on Jeddah. They are monastic hermits named after a region of Jeddah they frequent that is known as the Narcus Highlands. They revere the force, interpreting it as knowledge and understanding. The Anchorites believe that all things in the galaxy, from people to stars to boglings to asteroids, are part of a vast connected network of understanding. Jedi and the other force sensitives are perceived as enlightened beings from whom knowledge and understanding is transmitted outward. I mean... Be careful out there. No pointless heroics, yeah? Grease, have you been telling stories about me? I got plenty of things to talk okay. about besides you, kid. Good luck. Shouldn't you be heading out, Cal? Just wanted to make sure you're alright. What, do you think I'm not alright? Your hands were shaking on landing. You were watching my hands during landing? That's creepy. Watch yourself out there. I mean, he did say his hands are shaking now and cards, so. Hard shell. Shell provides modern defense. The deserts of Jeddah are cold and inhospitable. The deserts. Uh, so the hard shell has developed ways to keep protected. As the name suggests, the creatures often develop a tough outer shell, not to gain a reprieve from the elements, but as defense against predators. Although not every hard shell actually develops this carpus, car carapace, the local name has stuck. The thick shell can be removed with relative ease, but the creatures are entirely vulnerable without it. Though usually dispatched quickly, they nevertheless will swipe and spit at any entity that they deem a threat. Time to climb. Hang on, BD. Careful. There we go. There we go. Huh. Uh, so smart. Jetta. Not bad. Let's check it out. The force is with me. Let's move, BD. Stay off the sand, buddy. Don't want to end up a snack. Or do we? Locals get around.
No, I did not let the giant work. What'd you find? Sutaban. Highly aggressive. Sudaban stalked the ruins of Jeddah's ancient temple, seeking prey amongst the frigid wastes. Highly belligerent and single-minded, Sub Sub Sudaban pummeled the player with a barrage of strikes from their sn snowy but powerful arms. They are not known to lose direction and composure when on the hunt, however, and occasionally become disoriented by their own flurries, allowing their targets to either flee or retaliate. Yep. Yeah. 